Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man.
get this out of here. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. Shit! Now we're being robbed! What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn, you okay? We should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. For the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? 
Fight this mob. We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies, we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and now, we fetch now. the water. Take we us down Main Street, right glory. through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Talk to sir. Go home! Shut your mouth! What you doing? The hell is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. You learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo, a little... weren't we just leaving? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me. Or what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We, we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Not the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But we You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? 
I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all in ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. This is... Dad, ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry, son. Well, spare the gloating, Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned, after all these years, to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I have fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Yeah. called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And 
There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. A whole lot of ugly bitches here. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one. Which guarantees even more trouble. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. 
You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned <clears throat> Dutch here. Easy. They picked the wrong man there. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Continues along the shore here. You were saying before you disappeared on me? We should have moved right then if you asked me. The bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. But Jack was real young, a long while. Year I think this is the right way. Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. So you were just talking about something? You did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Yeah. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. You got your knife there? Come on, before someone comes back. I see three coming this way. You get the hell away from him. Stick your head. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Oh, 
making a run for it. Take him down. Well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Machen Sie mich los! It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. <laughs> 